how are you guys? I'm sure everyone is well, right? Okay, so we recently completed a series of trailhead, right? And one intro, how to use, how to create interfaces, right? Now, as I promised in my final video that was talking about career, I told you that we're going to do a trail example that if I have some task as a business manager, as a business analyst, or as an end user, or as an administrator. So I said four things. How can I achieve? And I will show you one example. How trail, a single trail, and a trail head, I would say, like one trail is a trail head, how it helps to improve and to help you to create something in Salesforce and to explain how to write a requirement, okay? The requirement is very big thing, okay? And how to follow step-by-step -step instructions, okay? So stay tuned, I'm coming soon. Let's go ahead and watch the video. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Go. I am back again. Welcome to Cam's Tech Talk, guys. As I explained, we're going straight to Trailhead and we're going to learn. Exciting option is called Outlook integration with Salesforce. So how Trailhead or in the end of Trail basically and the Trail Mix can help to achieve this functionality and how it helps as a business analyst or a business manager or operations manager who's, who's helping their technical team what exactly business needs, right? So, so this is, you can use as a solution in a broader way, as a high level, right? But you can also use as a technical step as well because we following the trail, right? Which is a basic, again, coming back to the baby step, right? But as a requirement or as a business solution, you can use, you can see what Outlook integration can do for you. So I will be coming with one, two, and three different topics on it. So first will be Trail. Second will be Windows. So which means how Outlook on Windows will connect with Salesforce and Outlook on Mac will connect with um, Salesforce again. Okay, so two different versions two different apps, there are two different interfaces. Again, it will help you writing a requirement, it will help you to configure uh, as a basic configuration, but it's good for planning, good for requirement, very good for solutionized things, okay? So let's do it. I'm going straight to Trail now, and hey, here I come, okay, there you go. So what I have is here, so let's go to the very basic again. I am on today's chapter. These are my recommendations. This is my profile. So you guys have seen all this stuff in my previous three different videos. And also there are many other things where I touch base all, all the trails of options. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm looking for search in Trailhead, right? And I'm going to type in normal out look. Outlook, right? I just said it, sorry. So Outlook, let's type it here. Or if I want to say more as well, I want to say Outlook, um, or I can say Salesforce for Outlook, okay? Salesforce or Outlook, there you go. Okay, I get the same article. 300 points, I can get it if I do this. But my focus is, yes, you have to do the points, which is good for learning. Look, I've already done it. you got green mark here. So which means I completed these three trails basically, right? And it's easy, five minutes, 15 minutes, and then five minutes again. Um, yeah, you can do it as well. Uh, it will increase your points. You will, you will get one more badge in Salesforce and it's good for you, right? Okay, now how it works. So if I open in a new tab, let's go there. I focuses in this one to train you how we can achieve a solution to implement and for requirement. Okay, right. Have a look. So learn number one, the benefit, what it does. So it's covering, so why sales, sales reps? 
use Outlook, why they like it, right? Even though it's not only for sales reps only, it's, it's for everyone, even for the support users, because you can also connect uh, case management in, uh, with Outlook. It's, it's all about the objects. We'll see that in action when I completely integrate uh, with Salesforce and we can, we can go through with that series, okay? Right, so problems, okay? So this is the whole trail, how the integration helps. So this is again, I'm reading and going through going through with the trail, right? I'm not going to read a sing, every single line uh, because obviously you guys have to read by yourself and see how things are, okay? So this trail is talk about benefits and what it is and how it's, it's uh, increase your reps productivity. It's, it's, uh, I missed the sales word because I don't want to restrict you guys with the sales only because it's for sales support or any other user basically who's using, anyone can use it. Okay, and let's, let's go back again. I'm not doing any technical in this video. Guys, we are only covering how the trails work and how you should look into, okay? Right, then look at here the highlight. List the requirements and other step considerations. Right, here you go. Requirements, yes, you need Outlook, you need, uh, you know, all these additions, like what do you need basically, right? These are the support uh, support things as well. So I'm, I'm focusing on the Outlook integration here, okay? So user licenses. So what do you need? What type of license it works for? Sales cloud, service cloud, lightning platform, okay? Anything, right? And then this is email server. So which means nowadays is very famous. You guys must have heard Office 365, okay? We're talking about Outlook. My focus is Office 365, right? But they do have support for Google Apps as well, and you can you can use it. Okay, but let's see Exchange twenty nineteen. So these are your email servers and obviously Office. So these are all normal requirements. And browser you can use Outlook for web, which means amazing, guys. If you are on Office three six five and it's a web browser you're utilizing, it works on that as well. And it's it's also talk about all all the Chrome. So technically, you can use this for your testing instructions. So any test team member can use this as for the, uh, you know, the use case, basically, when they write uh, stories for the testing for the group, okay? And then, there you go, step by step, it's, it's again, I am going detailing about the trail, guys. I'm not going to do any configuration, keep in mind, right? So look at the screens, how simple it looks. So this is a Salesforce screenshot where they told you how it works, okay? It's a simple step, again. And then Outlook integration, um, step and sync. And, and, and there you go. It's, it's all about, it's capturing the information into the Salesforce, okay? So I'm going back step again. And I'm going back to those, those three points that we have started with. Third one, um, which is turbo change your sales rep inbox feature okay let's see what's open in this particular tab right and there you go so features boost your sales team so you know what this is a next step uh, with the outlook integration actually which which is inbox features and all that um obviously we're not going to do that one but but keep your focus in this one outlook integration with salesforce and how can i access uh, Salesforce objects, like for example, leads, for example, cases, contacts, how can I link a email to the case, right? How can I link an email to the, how can I link an email to the leads? How can I utilize opportunities, uh, which is big thing for, for any sales person basically the next. It's the same as like any support user, they want to track everything in, in the case management. Any support user, like I would say any complaint is a support, customer services is a support, ID support is a support, any, any type of support, billing or anything, right? They use it. So, so these, these are the three different trails under the trailhead that works for Outlook, guys. So you learned this chapter today. How can I use this in my practical world, right? So hands-on experience in the day. I will go to the second video. The first thing I might do, I will start with the Mac and I will come up with that videos, guys. Stay tuned. We will cover it soon and I will, Cam will get back to you. Right. So what we learned today, guys, how to use 
these features, which are related to Outlook in two different platforms for Mac and Windows, how it works. We will cover the hands-on soon in my next two videos, uh, I would say. Uh, this is this part of series, basically. And I will put the links into the description as soon as, uh, as, soon as I finish it. OK, definitely stay tuned. Cam will get back to you. Stay connected always and subscribe, like, comment, guys. That will support and keep sending me ideas, guys, the way you are doing it already so I can cover more and more videos for you guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good one. Cheers, guys. Bye.